I'm telling you what it is. Nope. Like when I talk to him, he give that vibe. Like, nah. You have. Who can you control? Like he be making comments like, I thought she was looking for a new pappy. I'm like, oh, for me. Sub to the channel. Sub to the dad. channel. Oh, what's he got a pet? What's the goal of parenting? What's the goal? You said, oh, okay, okay, back to what you said. The goal. What's the goal of co parenting? A healthy environment to coexist with the individual you really don't fuck with, but that's the kid father. Right. So. So anything, <laughs> any conversations that's outside of the betterment of junior can be tabled. It's unnecessary. Right. Don't engage. Right. Right. That's all. You can redirect. You can say, okay, well, I, you know, I want to keep the conversation on junior. You know, do you have anything to add about junior? That's how you keep a healthy. That's how you keep a healthy conversation in a co-parenting relationship. Right. You right. I was waiting for the no call ID to keep ringing my it's phone. It's not easy. Then I'll be like, all right, so how you going to call for it? What? I'll just wait till it comes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Till he get ready. I'm not, there's no pressure, no rush. Both for y'all. Both, both for y'all. Both you too. You included. Right. Talk, talk. Y'all yeah, both just what? practice. That's all. What you mean? Huh? You have to practice. You have to practice. Practice what? Healthy. Talk speaking to speaking to him. Tyron motif. We do, and then it get it, it kind of go off topic yeah. though. So, somebody doesn't. Like, we we be talking about some shit like what we be talking about that he be trying, and I be uh, somebody's not maintaining their emotions. That's exactly what like, I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> Cause I swear, the nigga he had give me some dick before he come be a father. That's what's so wrong with you, man. That's why I'm like, oh, God, I ain't even know. Just too much. I'm just saying, like, he'll pull up some pussy, but he won't pull up with his son. I'm not saying. That's what he's doing. I'm saying that's what he would do. We don't need to know that. That's too much. Huh? That's too much. We don't need to know that. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's too much. I'm not saying that's real or true. Dang, I'm just hot. I, I, all right, see, I be so honest to people, motherfuckers think it's really true. I'm hypothetically yeah. speaking. Everybody doesn't need to know every. Hypothetically speaking, it wasn't really what was going on. <laughs> Rock is crazy. Yeah. Rock yes, is Papa crazy. Yes, Papa Gussie Bottle. All you do is laugh. Huh? You'll get it. You just have to keep practicing. You'll get it. Keep practicing what, yo? Being toxic? <laughs> right. <laughs> Sub to the channel. Okay, man. Help me. Oh my God, bro. Tell all about tape. I think, I think that being toxic sometimes gives you a, gives you a rush. I think being toxic sometimes gives you a rush of dopamine. Like, you said what? You being toxic. Toxic sometimes gives you a rush of dopamine, like it's exciting. It's like, woo! Oh, adrenaline, yeah, that should be fire. Like, See? no, I'm not saying I'm not. That was the old me. I'm not saying that's what. Well, I'm okay. Practicing. We're we're slowly changing. Change doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> but if you do a little bit each day, it gets easier, and then you'll be able to practice more. And then, but you know it, you'll be doing it without even thinking. Practice. What it look like, what it looks like is you have to have like good self talk, like in like okay, should I have said that or what's that name? What's that Sub mean? to the channel. Okay, I probably shouldn't have said that. And then taking responsibility, like you know what, I shouldn't have said that. That was messed up of me. I shouldn't have said that. I, well, I gave up. I ain't going like a couple of days. I just gave up. I'm like, I am over it. Like over the trying to see what's the like nitty, like down to the nitty gritty. What is it? Well, you asked me how. That's what it might look like. And then it's like, he he's like, I'm a man. I want to have control of da-da-da-da-da. And I'm just like, oh, that's why. Okay. But I don't want nobody controlling me, Rissa. Okay, so your expectations are not the same. There we go again. That's why you have conversations about. I don't want to deal with me at all because I'm just. And then he like, he be like, 
I don't want to be with a bitch, not a nigga. So he swear up and down, I'm a nigga. I just got like this. This nigga shit, I just became. Well, you died <laughs> like this before I sent you to California. Right, <laughs> I was a fucking girly girl. You were. Shit, always my makeup. Gentle. I barely wore braids. My hair was straight all the time or done. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, nigga, what? I, well, I changed like this because, like, I think Trump. Well, was Sometimes, most of the time, often, often, sometimes, well, what you will find with women is that we're comfortable being feminine, but when we don't feel safe, we feel like we have to protect ourselves. And the way that we protect ourselves are exhibited by what is commonly known as masculine tendencies, right? So, you know, being harsh, being, um, you know, standoffish. Know, not being vulnerable. I mean, you want to be vulnerable to somebody you trust. Like, no, you think really, that, no, I can. I really can soften up, but yeah, I am like yeah, you soften up when you're when you feel safe. That's my point. So when your safety is jeopardized, you turn into a nigga. <laughs> oh, what is it, mom? It's, it's not wrong motif. It's just behavior. It's your you you trying to protect yourself. <laughs> oh. Okay, so. oh it's about acknowledging Listen, your Rock. behavior. Listen to it, Rock. What you want to change and then understanding how you morph into that. Like, what were the causes? How was I before? How do I want to be? Right. Is my environment conducive for survival? Right. Can right. I survive be healthy in this environment? And if not, do I need to make changes to it? And I think that's the process that you're in. You're in the process right. of identifying what you really want, what makes you happy. And do you have control over those things? And this process is messy. It gets ugly because sometimes we want to be toxic. Sometimes we want to be peaceful. Sometimes we want better. And then sometimes it's just hard to do the work. So that's what I think a lot of people are seeing. They're seeing like this roller coaster. You know, of you, Not for good. Like, and I feel honey. At the end of the day, I could be your best friend. So it's like me and him. Like, Sub like, to the I, channel. Like, I, I pop out with him tomorrow, right? And my friend's like, what the fuck? You da, da, da. Little do they know before any of this shit, money, baby, all that, we're friends. Not like that, but like, not friends, but like, we can love each other unconditionally, even through the, the worst part of us. Like, Sub to the channel. Sub to the channel. <laughs>